Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my vlog. I have been desperately trying to find some light because it is so dark and rainy outside. It's so depressing. It is Friday night. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's Friday night and I actually am, I've been so busy. I've been like, my weekends have been so crazy lately that this is like my first weekend off basically. So I can't just sit around and do nothing because that's just not in me. So I have like a ton of stuff I want to do to kind of like get ready for fall. And yeah, so I'm gonna do some like baking and different stuff. I actually got some goodies from Bath and Body Works. I don't mind my <laughs> filming setup in my room back here. I have some warm vanilla sugar hand soap. I'm gonna decant in my hand soap container in my bathroom because I'm completely out of hand soap. And I also got, because I don't really use candles, but when the fall favorites tag went around, everybody was making a big deal about marshmallow fireside. And I don't use candles because I'm just way too paranoid about an open flame in my house. But I bought marshmallow fireside in a wallflower and then I got just the least expensive wallflower thing. They had some that were really, really pretty, but they were a little bit more expensive and you can't really see any of the plugs in my house. So I figure what's the point. So I got that and I also got, if I touch these, I'm gonna regret it. They are a lush bath bomb that looks like a pumpkin. How cute. So I don't know if I'll have time to use this this weekend, but I'm gonna see if I can squeeze that in. I have to shower and I really have to wash my hair and stuff. I'm thinking about using a new body scrub and stuff. So I just want to kind of film a quick little intro and tell you guys what I'd be up to this weekend. So I will see you in the vlog. Enjoy. <laughs> kale sweatshirt because I am so Beyonce. My face is like so red from like glam glow mask I just did and not like the heat of the shower and uh, stuff. I wash my hair. Yeah, my kale sweatshirt in honor of Beyonce. I've got my Victoria's Secret PJs on and my Sherpa boots which are from Primark. I just got them at Primark. So cute. Yes, yeah, so I am actually, it's getting kind of late, so I'm going to go work on dinner, and then it's going to be a nice, relaxed, chill Friday night, which I need because I haven't had that in a very long time. and I need to do my Halloween tablescape. So I'm going to work on that. I also need to do my nails because I ran out of time yesterday. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Just get this going and see what happens. is a work in progress. I need to pick up a few more things, but I'll probably pick those up tomorrow. And now I'm gonna get on to some cooking. I'm cooking up some bacon for a recipe that I'm doing a little bit later. And I got this 
little silicone rack and stuff. It's supposed to, it grabs the fat or whatever, I guess, from the cooking, but it also is supposed to cook things more evenly. So I'm gonna test it out. I'm cooking bacon in the oven, half of it on the new pan and half of it without because I only remembered to buy one of these and I needed two pans. So I'm gonna see how that works through the magic of video. So while the bacon is in the oven, I decided to make some fall flavored homemade granola. I like to make my own granola because I can never find ones in the store that have all the ingredients that I want. The original recipe that I used, I actually got from Fleur de Force's channel, and but I decided to kind of tweak it to give it some like fall flavors and stuff. What I used was I used oatmeal, I used pecans, because that just says fall to me, um, dried cranberries, of course, which also says fall. I used some sunflower seeds, maple syrup, because again, we're in New England and it's fall, you gotta have the maple syrup. I used some coconut oil. I have some flax seeds for obviously some good health and wellness. I threw in just a few little fall spices just to give it a little bit more flavor. And then I have it all in the pan and then I'm gonna throw it in the oven. I don't know, I think actually the bacon from the non-pan may have gotten a little crisper than this one. I don't know. So the recipe I'm making now is kind of an experiment. The original recipe was a cookie recipe I've done a few times, which is kind of like a almond coconut chocolate chip cookie recipe I got from uh, Ingrid Nielsen. I did this as a variation. I changed the honey she used to maple syrup, and I changed the shredded coconut to pecans and the chocolate chips to bacon bits. I have been wanting to do a recipe, like a sweet recipe with bacon for a while. So actually I have like almond flour, salt, baking soda, coconut oil, some water, vanilla, maple syrup, and then I use the bacon and pecans in here. And I don't know, I'm kind of excited. They're, these are actually gonna be, if they work out and they taste okay, they're gonna be um, gluten-free, dairy-free, they're egg-free. They won't be, be vegan, obviously, because of the bacon bits, but they're, as my boyfriend would say, they're vegan-free. He likes to say things that aren't vegan or vegan-free. So, yeah, so we'll see how these come out. I'm excited. Fingers crossed. A moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Wow. These are good. So I decided to take a break from baking and I'm going to do my toes and my nails. I'm gonna do some fall colors. I actually, because I'm a licensed cosmetologist, I actually have the whole shellac from Creative Nail Designs system. So I just got some new colors I think I wanna try. I think I'm gonna try Blue Rapture on my toes. And I think I'm gonna try it's color totally outside my usual color range, but I think I'm gonna try Wild Moss on my fingers. See how that goes. I don't think I've actually ever worn a color like this before. It's like a mossy green. It's gonna take a little getting used to, but it's pretty. My toes, the blue on my toes came out nice. I don't know. Pretty blue. So I'm back in the kitchen, and now I'm actually making another Ingrid recipe. I'm making her pumpkin pasta recipe, which I'm actually cooking the pasta. I'll show you. I'm actually cooking the pasta in with the sauce. And uh, I don't know. I'm a little worried about how it's gonna come out, but... We'll see. So I made the recipe with quinoa pasta, linguine quinoa pasta, and pasta didn't hold up very well. It's actually kind of broken up in here, so it kind of looks a little bit more like a thick soup with some noodles in it. So I don't know, we'll see how it tastes. A little recap on the pasta. I used quinoa pasta and it just kind of turned to like mush. So, I mean, the flavors were good, but it was just kind of more like soup. It was okay. Tonight, I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus for the first time ever. It is everybody's favorite Halloween movie and I need to catch it finally because I haven't seen it. So I'm actually gonna try to talk to my boyfriend into watching this tonight. So we'll see if I can do it. 
I talked him into it, so I'm watching Hocus Pocus for the very first time ever. I got my Chardonnay. I'm ready to go. Cheers. Hi everyone, so it is Sunday morning? Yeah, I don't even know what day it is. That's the thing about long weekends. I think it's Sunday morning. And yeah, my boyfriend and I are gonna go run some errands. He wants to go to his comic book store and I'm gonna try to talk him into stopping at, I don't know, I think Home Goods and maybe Joanne Fabrics. So I have a few other things I wanna pick up for my Halloween tablescape because it's just not complete yet, you know, and like you're, I don't know, you look at it and you're like, it's just something missing, so. And I realized that I have to start thinking about Thanksgiving, which is so frustrating because, like, it's not even Halloween. But I guess, I don't know, I, I didn't realize that, like, you really have to shop for, like, decor stuff, especially for Halloween and Thanksgiving, like, three months in advance because, like, it's not even Halloween yet and they're starting to put out Christmas stuff and, like, all the Halloween stuff and Thanksgiving stuff. I mean, it's all on sale, but it's so picked over, so. I don't know. I guess you really got to plan ahead and I just didn't this year, so. Hopefully things will work out okay. Um, as far as recipes go, yesterday. The granola turned out great. Um, the cookies are good, but I still think I want to tweak the recipe before I think they're perfect. And the pumpkin pasta was kind of a fail. It was edible, but it was a little bit of a fail um, because it just, it was basically just pumpkin mush because apparently quinoa pasta cannot be substituted for regular pasta. You live, you learn. I don't know, get myself together, although it's taken me a long time to get the natural look today. I don't know why. And um, actually, I do know why. It's because I've been kind of watching YouTube videos and stuff while I've been putting, <laughs> putting on my makeup and stuff. So that's why it's been taking me so long. So yeah, so then, uh, yeah, so we're going to kind of get going. Maybe grab some lunch and have a nice Sunday afternoon together. I will check in with you guys later. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little OOTD outfit of the day. Yeah, OOTD. <laughs> so this, actually, you can't really tell in the lighting here because the lighting is kind of yellow. I don't know, maybe that makes it really dark, but at least it's not yellowish. Uh, this jacket is actually, if you can tell, it's gray, like a gray stretch denim. It's from Primark. The shirt is Express. This is a maiden form shapewear tank. Jeans are from Forever 21. They're super old. These shoes, if you can see them are from Tom's Shoes. They are like my new favorite everyday leopard loafers. Been loving them. My lipstick combo today is actually, I'm using Max Whirl Lip Pencil with Kat Von D's Love Sick. And this is just on top a little bit of NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Tres Leche. And this is what it looks like on. It's kind of a your lips but better combo. Hey guys, so we just got back from running errands and I didn't really vlog much when we were out because we were kind of very like focused on like looking for stuff and I'm going to work on my, I'm doing a Kate Spade themed Halloween table. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So I went out and I was trying to find something that was white with gold dots because I'm like, you cannot do Kate Spade stuff. It's not white with gold dots. And I've seen pumpkins out there that had that, but I guess they're all gone. And I know I could make pumpkins like that, but I was like, eh, I have like the black and white pumpkins. So I'm going to try to make like a vase cover for this. So I'm gonna work on that now and see what happens. Hey everyone, sorry I kind of forgot to vlog this morning. I didn't vlog much of last night and I forgot to vlog this morning. I finished my like Kate Spade table. I might adjust it. Like I set it up a certain way for pictures. I might like adjust it so it works better in the room, like having things face a different way, but I wanted it to be facing a good way for photos for right now. So I'm actually going to do probably a blog post with some actual pictures, but I thought I would walk you through the table and just kind of describe to you what I did for like DIY stuff. So here's the table. Okay, so this table was all Kate Spade inspired, even though none of this stuff is actually Kate Spade. But it started, my inspiration kind of started with these pumpkins that I found from Joanne Fabrics. Um, actually, all the pumpkins here are from Joanne Fabrics. And I had this sparkly table runner this gold table runner which i got from etsy but i got it last year i think and this is just the white tablecloth that my mom had for the table i just added these black ribbons on here they're just basically inexpensive black ribbons i got from i believe from joanne fabrics and or maybe i got them from michael's one of the two it just kind of makes the table look like it's black and white striped like kate spade themed 
and I bought this frame really inexpensive from Michaels. This is just some poster board and then I got some like gold glitter stick on letters and of course Kate Spade, her saying is eat cake for breakfast. I put eat candy for breakfast because it's Halloween and you probably got Halloween candy lying around, right? I got these, kind of see them if they get in focus. These are, let me get closer. These are little black glitter skeletons, which are not normally my thing, but I made these little ribbons out of just some orange ribbon I got from Joanne Fabrics. I just kind of folded the ribbon and then just pinned them. So I have like this little girl skeleton and then I have a like boy skeleton. So, you know, male and female. I just figured I'm not really normally into skeletons, but kind of made them, made them look a little cute. And then this actual, this flower actually fell off the other flower. So I just kind of stuck it here. And I just got some, you know, just little pumpkins. I really wanted the white ones with the gold dots because those are so Kate Spade and they just didn't have any more anywhere. And I didn't really want to take time to make them. So I got these. I actually did make, cause I couldn't find anything white with gold dots. I don't know why it was like that, but these are just actual, like they're clear vases that are tall and thin. And then I just got a piece of like white scrapbooking paper. And then I got like the Martha Stewart, like those, um, like punches that she has. And I got some um, gold glitter stick on stuff, which is peeling off a little bit, but I just kind of stuck these on here. They were kind of supposed to be in a pattern, but they ended up more random. So this actually, you can actually just like slide off so that I can use the vase. So it's just kind of like taped around. The seam is there, but I kind of try to hide it. So that's my little DIY Kate Spade vase. These flowers are really pretty. With Kate Spade, normally I would go with hot pink, but I thought, you know what? Black, white, and gold and some orange for Halloween made sense. And I actually have a Kate Spade box that I use to kind of organize some of my stuff that actually has like, it's kind of a pink rosebud pattern. So I thought the orange rosebuds were really appropriate. And then the backside, just to kind of hide the back of the frame, I have this like chevron pattern pumpkin. So that is the table. And I'm gonna take some pictures of it for my blog. And unfortunately now I have this done and I'm gonna have to start planning Thanksgiving like now. I'm thinking about doing like another designer theme, like this was Kate Spade theme, maybe doing another designer theme for Thanksgiving. So you maybe I'll do like one for Thanksgiving, one for Christmas, like I'll change up like a different like designer themed, but obviously on a budget, mostly from like craft stores and stuff. So if you guys have any designers that you want me to design a holiday table around, I'd love some suggestions, so let me know. And uh, yeah, most of the morning I've basically just been working, so I decided to take a little break. And even though today's technically an off day, it's Columbus Day, I still had some work to do because <laughs> next week's really busy. So I've been doing that, and I just want to take a break and show you guys the table and do some pictures for the blog and get that ready. So I will try to check in with you guys later. Hey guys, I wanted to show you my new mug I got at Home Goods yesterday, which is so cute. Look, it's moi, and it's got like this gold lip print on it, and then these red lips on the end. It's so cute. And I just made myself a like a tea latte with bought this at the grocery store last week. This is Celestial Seasonings. It's just herbal tea, but it's caramel apple dream, which is yummy. And I heated up some almond milk and then I used a new frother that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond and some honey and mixed it together and it tastes like a dessert, which is yummy. So I just thought I would share that with you guys because I'm loving this. It's, mwah. 